coach, 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 coach Jason Capson here. Coach Jason Capson here, and today I'm going to talk about Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all my dads out there. This is something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that I want to talk about. It's something that I think that can hit home for a lot of people. Um, I take this role very, very seriously. And before I jump right into this, I just want to say that this in no way is a how-to video. It's not a how to be a father video. It is some, I guess, some guidance some tips, some hints for some people who might be struggling with being a father and what it means to actually be a father. Um, just because your name's on a birth certificate does not make you a father. Let me make that very clear. Let me say that again. Just because your name is on a birth certificate, that doesn't make you a father. There's a lot more to being a father than having your name on a birth certificate. I am a father. Um, I have had the incredible blessing of two of my own girls and now three stepsons. Sons. I'm not going to call them stepsons. They're sons. They're my sons. I'm raising them. I'm helping to raise these boys to become great men. I'm helping to raise my daughters to be great women, great people, great humans, great members of society. And I think that is something that gets overlooked a lot of times. Our role as a father, to me, anyways, and this is just my opinion. Do you really want my opinion? You might have a different opinion. Your opinion might be different than mine, that's okay. We're okay to have different opinions. We can agree to disagree. You can take some of this advice and, and run with it, or you can just say, hey, Capson doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. But I can tell you this. As a father, to me, I've got a few very specific roles. The first role is to love unconditionally. That's number one. I, I talked this week about the, how there are different kinds of people in the world and, and it takes all kinds to make the world go round. But the one thing you cannot be as a father is selfish. You can't be selfish in, if you're gonna be a good father. You cannot be selfish if you're gonna be a good father. I know this sounds awful, but I'm going through a selfish phase right now. You have to put your kids first if you want to be a good father. That's the truth. If it's all about you, you're going to lose this game of fatherhood. You've got to put your kids first. That's first and foremost. That's the first thing. You've got to put your kids first. You've got to show up. That's number two. You've got to show up. You're the last person in the world I expected to show up. It's sometimes you've got to rearrange your schedule to show up. Sometimes you don't want to be there, but you've got to show up. Sometimes you're going to have to change the way you think in order to show up the right way. And when I what I mean by that is just being there physically a lot of times isn't enough. Being there emotionally, being there spiritually, being there mentally, listening to your kids, listening to their needs is vital in order to be a good father. You gotta show up, that's number two. Number three, and to me this might be one of the most important ones, you've gotta lead by example. When I look at my boys, just using my boys as an example, when I look at the boys, the boys see me love their mother. Their boys see me being kind and respectful to their mother. The boys see me open the door of the car for their mother. The boys see me pitching in and helping with chores and helping do things and cook and clean, all those kinds of things that were typically made for the mom. That's not the case. The boys see me doing those things. And what that does is that shows them, by example, how they should be when they become a husband or a father. Lead by example. I want my boys to grow up to be respectful. I want my boys to grow up to be kind. I want my boys to grow up to be honest. I want my boys to grow up to be good Christian men. How do I do that if I'm not leading by example? How can I expect my boys to treat women with kindness and respect and with love 
if I'm not showing that to their mother, I need to show that to their mother to lead by example. The most important job for me is to lead by example. How can I expect them to have a strong work ethic if I don't have a strong work ethic? How can I expect them to be honest if I'm not being honest? How can I expect them to be loving if I'm not being loving to their mother? How can I expect them to be good humans if I'm not a good human? You need to lead by example. The most important thing you can do as a father is lead by example. For my girls, the same thing applies. When I show my girls respect and kindness for their mother, my ex-wife, but the mother of my children. She's the mother of my children. I show her kindness. I show her respect. I show her unconditional love. It's a different kind of a love, but it's love. She's family. I show that leading by example. That helps my daughters. My daughters should expect that from the man in their life, from the father of their children in the future. I need to lead by example for all of my kids. Show up, lead by example, love unconditionally. That's what it means to be a father. Your name on the birth certificate doesn't make you a father. It's what you do every single day. It's what you say every single day. It's whether you show up or you don't show up every single day. And most importantly, it's leading by example. You know, Father's Day is a couple days away. And I want to celebrate Father's Day with my kids. And I want them to be proud of the fact that I'm leading by example. For all you fathers out there that are leading by example. For all you stepfathers out there that are leading by example. For all you father figures out there, uncles. For all of you men, you real men that are out there. That are loving unconditionally. That are leading by example. Happy Father's Day to you. Keep up the good work. You're making an impact on your kids' lives, whether you know it or not. Your kids are watching you. Your children are watching you and they're learning. They're listening. They're seeing. The other day I went to open the door to the car and Jarvis, one of my sons went over and he opened the car door. He beat me to it and he said, Capson, I learned that from you. That was an aha moment for me. And I realized that our jobs, they're very, very important. Men, your jobs as fathers, it's one of the most important jobs on the planet. Show your kids what it means to be a leader. Show your kids what it means to be a real father. Show your kids what it means to show unconditional love. Show your kids what it means to show kindness and courtesy and respect and integrity. Be a good person. Above all, be a good person. You got this. Take care, guys.